All right, Kenzie, let's take a look at your, one of your slalom free ski runs. We're going to call this your baseline uh, because it's you know early in a year, and we'll be able to compare this to a uh, video towards the end of the year and see all the improvements that uh, that you made. Let's check it out. Yeah, it was a good job. You're a good skier. We love having you in the group. It's awesome. We're going to talk about a bunch of things we're going to work on throughout the entire year, so I don't expect you to, to think you got to do all this tomorrow, but these are just things we're going to be working on throughout the entire year. The first thing is what we already have been working on is getting a nice athletic ready position stance including widening the, the the feet, the boots, and the legs. So right now you get those legs pretty much kind of plastered together. We got to get some width there. We got to be kind of hip width right, of the feet, the boots, the skis, and the, the knees. So as the turn progresses here, it gets really, it got really, it gets really tight right there, right? pretty hard to to really roll up those skis to a nice high edge angle platform uh, when their feet are that close together you can see there no separation of the knees in fact the you know outside knee your right knee is almost tucked in behind the leg and that's something we want to avoid gonna have to pull back that inside leg to help that you can see how your inside ski is is ahead of the outside ski by uh, by uh, quite a bit. There it is again. So that's what you really got to be thinking about right now. Athletic stance, that stance, that width right there. What you got right now in that picture right there. Maintain that throughout the entire turn. And all of a sudden they got tight. And transition. All right, so number two, what else are we working on? Working on using our ankles and knees to roll the skis up on edge uh, before we move maybe the hip to the inside once the speed warrants it. But you, you're a hippie. Yeah? You like to use all hip to roll those skis up. So, you know, your angles are looking like this and like that. So it's all hip. And we want to see a little uh, just like knee angulation first. And like this, right now at the top of the turn, and then we maybe have to move move the hip in a little bit. That's okay, but we've got to start edging the skis from the ground up, the snow up, ankles and knees first, rolling them both up to the exact same matching angle. You know, something we'll talk about is if we need to be level. We we did one little drill last week. Remember the poles and in front of us, and we're talking about, uh, you know, not dropping any, uh, what do we do, money off of them, but, um, you know, we'll be talking a lot this year about raising inside shoulder, that helps you get get nice and level, because right now you're not really level through this part of the turn, and, you know, we want, we want level shoulders, level shoulders helps us really get pressure of the outside ski, we need to be, we need to be um, balanced over that outside ski. Again, feet kind of tighten there, but that's something we'll be working on a lot. Another thing is, you know, we really don't want to pop up in the transition. This is sort of up on waiting here way too much. So now we're light. Kind of, our skis don't have much pressure or weight on them at the top of the turn. We want, we want pressure at the top of the turn. So we're going to work on not popping, standing up tall in the transition. In fact... You know, more forward, slalom particularly, we're going to really work on uh, the opposite almost, flexion or retraction, but we'll get, to, we'll get to that. Take a look from the side here, you know, 
decent stance, but you can probably see maybe that one year, you know, your inside hand is, is lower, so we've got to raise out such a, uh, in, inside shoulder, right? And we've got to get a little more ankle flexion. We talk, we've been working a lot on ankle flexion the last the couple weekends, and we need more of that. You can see, you know, you're, you're kind of like that, and this one is straight up and down, more or less, not drawn well, but... Right, we need equal ankle flexion in, in both. All right, so really got to pull those feet back in, in the front of the boot. Dude, you're taking a little look at me over there. We also talked about how our back, right, our back should be the same angle as our shin. Well, of course, your shin, we don't have much ankle flexion. But again, also, even if you had probably the correct amount, you are just a little bit, let's say your correct amount would have been here. You're a little bit hunched over at the waist. So let's try to stand a little taller, not, not as bent over. We don't want you standing up like a pencil. We know that. But we get low by getting our feet off from underneath us as opposed to really bending over at the waist. Good looking turn there. So I know we just said a lot here. Like I said, these things you'll be working on all year long, but let's start with a nice athletic stance, wider feet and wider knees, keeping the space between your knees also, rolling up those ankles and knees, rolling up the skis using ankles and knees at the top of the turn, and we'll move the hip in if speed's warranted. And then, you know, next after that, maybe we'll start not popping up in the transition and raising inside shoulder and pulling our inside foot back a little bit and it helps us get off of our heels because you're a little bit on the heels but great first uh, couple weekends and looking forward to the next <laughs>